Hey, Scott. Hey, Carol. It's Ira again. Okay, so um, we're here at 2834 Barboza um, in Villa de la Credenza, and it's a um, patio villa neighborhood, um, very close to where your aunt and uncle live. So, um, wood framed home, vinyl siding. Uh, let me take a look at the roof here. It's a three tab, it's not a dimensional shingle, so um, I don't know if this roof has been replaced anytime soon. I'd probably have to look that up on the um, property appraisers. So we can find that out for you. But uh, for now it kind of looks like it's um, it's an original roof, so um, we'll go ahead and I'll show you a little bit about the outside of the home and then we'll go ahead and go on inside, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a little trip around the outside. This one has a nice landscape wall. I uh, could use a little pressure washing, but I'm sure that would, um, that would clean right up there, okay? And uh, it's kind of unusual where um, there's space between the two houses and there's no patio. Uh, that's neither here nor there. This home does have gas. So there's a gas meter. One and a half car garage. And this is what the patio looks like on the side. Okay, um, I haven't talked to the owners yet. I know they're here, so let me go ahead and go on inside and then we'll go ahead and get you in. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, go on inside. We'll start with the lanai. And uh, this is pretty nice. I mean, I like the, the rocks that are here in the embedded in this patio floor, or lanai floor. That's really nice. And um, I did kind of go down and, I don't know how they did that, but that is pretty neat. Okay, so um, I don't know. Maybe it's just sectioned. I guess it is sectioned. I see some, so maybe it's just sectioned and put together on the floor, but that's pretty cool. All right, and then in the foyer they have tile as well, which I like. All right, so as we step into the house, this is typically the uh, dining room. You can see the light that's hanging there. They have it set up as a little sitting room because there is a little uh, eat-in area in the kitchen, So, which I'll show you in just a second. All right, so there's your living room. They have it set up nice and spacious. Uh, this leads out to the patio. Although they kind of have it blocked off, I guess they enter the patio from the lanai area. So this is called the Cabot Cove model. They have granite which is nice, stainless steel appliances, nice uh, tile floor that matches that foyer, little solar tube in here, and uh, a fan light combination. They have the uh, Formica counter, I mean counters, the Formica uh, cabinets. Um, the only thing, I mean if you ever wanted to, you don't have to, these are okay the way they are, but they you could replace these with a, like a raised panel with an arch, um, a raised panel, they call it um, uh, thermofoil, thermofoil cabinets. You might want to look that up. But uh, the appliances are very nice. Gas range, gas microwave. There's your little eating area. Now normally in the Cabot Cove, uh, the washer and dryer 
are in here. Um, so I'm not sure if uh, they had that moved out to the garage um, when they built it, but there's what it looks like. The air conditioner has been replaced at some point with this ream. Um, and I'll look and I'll try to see uh, when it was it was put in. And I can probably tell from that sticker right there. All right. So um car and a golf cart. You can see how the golf cart sits in here very nicely. Let me back it out a little bit more. There you go. So golf cart fits in here pretty nicely and then your car can pull right in. All right. Uh, the washer and dryer again. Back into the kitchen carpet in the living room and dining room um, for resale value I would say you would want to replace it with uh, maybe some kind of a laminate flooring and you can see there's two different carpets in the guest bedroom and the master okay this is the master bedroom guest bathroom it has tile floors as well. Looks like a nice little shower head in there. Rain head. Guest bedroom. Closet. Linen closet. All right, um, one thing about the Cabot Coves I kind of like. The Cabot Coves have a little bigger master bathroom than the Colony, which I like. Um, also, there's a separate room for the commode and the shower. So if you ever wanted to just have privacy, um, you can definitely shut that door while somebody is standing here at the vanity. Okay. And then a nice size walk in closet. Goes on back. You could double rack that pretty easily and get twice the amount of clothes in there. So I would say, for the most part, um, this is a pretty nice home. They've done a lot of nice things with the upgrades. Um, oh yeah, what I wanted to say too about the uh, Cabot Cove. Cabot Cove allows you to arrange your furniture in different ways, uh, unlike the colony. So you could put your TV over here if you wanted to and then sofa and love seat or you could put your TV on that wall and then maybe have a sofa here and love seat or whatever there's a lot of different ways but this is nice and open the way it is so um, pretty nice home okay so that's it for this tour See you outside. Okay, so as we saw, this is a pretty nice um, Cabot Cove patio villa. Um, eh, you know, like we talked about, maybe some carpet needs to be replaced. And um, I don't know, you know, there's just not that much more that uh, really needs to be done to this home. So um, let me know what you think. Oh, the AC was replaced in 2016. Um, it shows the July is when it was manufactured. So probably put in August, around, around three years ago. And uh, the roof is the original roof. So um, uh, let me see, this home, 
uh, was, let me see when this home was built. <sighs> built in 1999, so 20 years, 20 year old roof. It's probably a 25 year shingle, I think. So, might be close to, uh, you know, you're wanting to, to uh, replace the roof. I see the ones across the street here have been replaced um, with architectural shingles. Uh, there's one over here too, um, architectural shingles. So a lot of these homes have already replaced their roofs. Um, I'm not saying it needs to be replaced, but probably in the not too distant future anyways. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, it's hot. It's a beautiful day. Let me know um, what you think about this, okay? Thanks.